Season 33, War 10. We're going up against Paolo today. This is a rematch. We faced them earlier in the season. Starting out on Path 6 in Section 1, I have this switch on Power Focus 2, Aggression Prowess. So my goal, I just want to get up to my Special 2. I want to bait out a Special 1 from her because I can actually Dex that. And her Special 2 is sketchy to Dex. And I don't want to take it on block with the prowess. It, it would deal a lot of damage. It could potentially kill me, I think. So I'm just going to bait out a special one, drop my special two, and that's going to be a wrap. It's not a high health pool because it's section one anyway. So I figured one special two would do the job. And then moving on, I have this Doom on Power Snack. This is the second time I've taken this fight this season. So I went back and I watched how I did the first one. And... I realized that I really didn't need to worry about pausing my debuffs, that it would just kind of happen naturally in the process of baiting out his special one. So instead of focusing so much on that, I changed my focus to building up ruptures along with refreshing the Mr. F Petrify. So the Petrify is going to stop him from activating aura when you throw special attacks. So you don't have to worry about the unblockable. You don't have to worry about him resisting against your heavies or, or the last hit of your specials. It just makes it a very easy fight being able to turn off his abilities like that. And then you don't have to worry about Power Snack or MD because Spidey can't get buffs. So it pretty much just makes Doom a nobody here. And that's a nice thing. It's literally just a matter of getting back to my special two. Baiting out this special one real quick. Although I probably didn't even need to. And then dropping my special two. Moving into section two, I was back up, but then I have this mojo on 47. It's very possible that this is the 10th time in 10 wars that I've taken this mojo here. Not entirely positive, but there is a very good possibility. So the game plan for this mojo is the same as it always is. I'm going to dash back when he comes running in, parry the second hit, and then heavy. The dash back is going to pause my debuffs. The parry is going to reverse the kinetic power gain. And the heavy is going to apply an exhaustion. The exhaustion is going to help with that power reversal. I'm going to do this until I reach my special two. And then when that happens, the node itself is going to apply an indestructible on him that I'm going to have to wait out. I'm not sure exactly how long it lasts. It might be five seconds. It might be 10 seconds. I'm not sure. But I just wait it out. And then I drop my special two. And then I just repeat the process. And then he goes down like a ton of bricks. Very easy, very safe. I'm very comfortable with this fight at this point. And then moving into section three, I'm going to have the Mangog fight on 54 that I normally have. Um, I don't think that's been every single war this season, but it's probably been eight or nine at least. And I have a Mr. F pre-fight and a White Mags this time. The white mags is nice, actually. I like it for this fight. The strategy for this one is use the Mr. F pre-fights to set myself up with my own debuffs. Although, at this point, my comfort level with this fight has gotten to a point where I actually can keep the Mr. F up the entire fight. And I'm finding that I really like doing that. We're going to reach a point in this fight where he's just not going to be getting power whatsoever um normally i reach a point where i'm reversing it slowly and he just doesn't get back over a bar of power but i think i have so many debuffs on him that even when i hit him by the time i go to hit him again his power has already drained and that's just a beautiful thing it is a very safe very sweet way to do this fight so I'm just working my way back up to my next special two. That special two is going to kill him. I think by the time I get there, though, the unstoppable armor timer was about to trigger. So I wanted to wait it out before I threw my special two. And now I'm just waiting for an opening. And then he's going to go down. So last war, I, I my section three was set up the same exact way. Nimrod boss, Mangog on 54. And... I did the Mangog fight, I put Suicides on, and I went right into the boss fight with my Power Star 1 still active. And I tried to do that this war, and as I went to go into the boss fight, I realized that we were still fighting the Hazard Shift Mini. And I was like, oops, I gotta wait this. I don't want to go into the boss fight with the Hazard Shift Mini up. So I waited for that to come down, and my Power Star 1 had fallen off at that point. But I really didn't think I needed it anyway. 
and I used an in-bone boost, but I really don't think that I needed that either. If I take some hits on the way to my special three, it's really not that big of a deal. We have reduced damage because Spidey takes 75% reduced damage against nodes with True Strike, and the boss has True Strike. So once I get my slow up for my special three, I'm going to be baiting Nimrod special one the whole fight, and it's going to end up working out the same way that the Doom fight does, where just playing the fight naturally, dexing his special one, you're going to pause your debuffs, and it, they're just going to have an uptime for the entire fight. So once I reach that special three, I don't have to worry about stuff like this happening anymore, where I'm in the process of hitting him, I've lost track of the global timer, and I, he ends up going unstoppable, and I end up taking shots to the face. I get my slow up from the special three, I'm going to have it up the rest of the fight, and at that point, it is just a Nimrod fight. No more global, no nothing. I don't want to push him to a special two, that can be scary. If you mess up a dex on it, those shocks will kill you, even though you have 75% reduced damage. So, just going to bait out the special one. It does give him an energize buff, which makes it hard to do full combos against him at times, because he's getting more power than he normally would, but that's not really that big of a deal. I'm making sure that I build up some ruptures, because along with having uptime on the slow, dexing his special ones in the process of the fight progressing is going to pause those as well, and that's just extra damage to help the fight go down smoother. And then, at this point, I'm working back up to a special two, and when I get there and I drop it, it's, it's going to finish him off. Um, I just want to make sure that I bait out his special one before I throw my special two, on the off chance that it doesn't kill him, I really don't want to push him to a special two of his own. So I'm just waiting this out here. He throws it, and then I'm going to throw mine. And that's a wrap. We ended up winning this war. We died five times. Paolo died ten times. And our battle group died twice to their battle group dying four times. All in all, it was a good war. Good luck to Paolo on the rest of the season. And thank you very much for watching.